Hello again. I'm just going to ask you a question. Do you believe that you came from goo, then to the zoo, then to you? That's simply not true, and I'm going to try and prove that to you. It's a little known fact that what you believe determines how you act. And if you believe that you came from a monkey, doesn't that give you permission to act like one too? It wasn't very many years ago that the Ten Commandments could be found in virtually every single school in America. And now, you won't find them anywhere. Why is that? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because people do not want to be held accountable to their creator, and they'd rather believe that they came from monkeys and can act like animals. And that's why you have kids shooting up their schools, and you have kids doing drugs, and the whole society is falling apart because everyone believes that they came from monkeys which came from earthworms which came from slime. Some people believe that Charlie Darwin started the theory of evolution. Actually, it was Satan in the Garden of Eden. The serpent came to the woman and said, For God knows that when you eat of it, the forbidden tree, that your eyes will be opened and you will be like God. It was Satan who wanted to be God, but since he couldn't have the job, he offered the job to Eve. He was in no authority or position to offer the job, but Satan's a liar, so... Satan told Eve that she could be like God. And that's what people believe today. They believe they started as an earthworm. And that earthworm, or, you know, the first single-celled organism, evolved into a fish or some amoeba or something. And that turned into monkeys eventually, and that turned into humans, and we're evolving and getting stronger and bigger and better. And it's Satanism. Evolutionists have the severe misfortune of believing that they are related to every other form of life on the planet. So, we're going to do a little mental exercise and see if you can figure this out. Because evolution is a lie, they need to back it up with likewise lies. Adolf Hitler once said, let me control the textbooks and I will control the state. Alright, let's get a bit more technical. I'm now reading from a textbook, and it says, many organisms retain traces of their evolutionary history. For example, the whale retains pelvic and leg bones as useless vestiges. You can see those, the pelvis and the femur. Okay, so if you go to your high school and you find an evolutionary textbook, you'll still find this. They're, they're claiming that whales evolved legs and became cows. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but let I've ever heard, but let's take this a little further. Those bones, the pelvis and the femur, are actually part of their sexual organs. And if they did not have those bones, they would not be able to create baby whales. So to claim they're vestigial is, is a lie. Evolutionists will claim that they can use the fossil record to determine what evolved from what. 
Allow me to demonstrate what an evolutionist would claim to be a successful diagram in showing the evolution of a horse. Okay, now allow me to show you the evolution of cutlery. Here you have what can be considered the evolutionary history of cutlery. As you can see, the knife slowly evolved into a spoon over billions of years, then into a spork, and then into a fork. This process took a very long time. I would consider one of the biggest problems with evolution to be the fact that it discredits the intelligent creator in favor of blind chance. I'd ask you, how can blind chance create a seeing eye? Even if you want to go with that and say it just happened, here's the problem. If you believe that you were unintelligently designed, that there was no intelligent hand in your creation, then that means you are a biological machine, a slave to chemical reactions in your brain. Which means, you can't trust your thoughts. So, if you can't trust your thoughts, how in the world can you claim that what you know is true? How can you believe in evolution and still claim that your belief is completely founded in reality, when in fact you can't trust your own thoughts?